at dozens of locations around the world, in missile silos buried in our ground, on submarines navigating through our oceans, and aboard planes flying high in our sky like 15,000 objects of humankind's destruction. The story of nuclear weapons will have an ending, and it, it is up to us to decide what that ending will be. Will it be the end of nuclear weapons? Or will it be the end of us? One of these things will happen. The only rational course of action is to cease living under the conditions where our mutual destruction is only one impulsive tantrum away. Safe. Learning to live with these weapons in blind acceptance has been our next great mistake. We continue to live in denial of this existential threat. We must reclaim the freedom to not live our lives as hostages to imminent destruction. Man, not woman, made nuclear weapons to control others, but instead we are controlled by them. I have the honor of sharing this stage today with Sitsuko Thurlov, who has made it her life's purpose to bear witness to the horrors of nuclear war. She and the Hibakusha were at the beginning of this story, and it is our collective challenge to ensure that they will also witness the end of it. They relive their painful past over and over again so that we may create a better future. And those who say that that future is not possible need to get out of the way of those making it happen. This year, 122 nations negotiated and concluded a UN treaty to outlaw these weapons of mass destruction. It is not irrational to think that nuclear states can disarm. It is not idealistic to believe in life over death. It is a necessity. And I call on every nation to join the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. And to the nations who believe that they are sheltered under the umbrella of nuclear weapons, your enabling of the nuclear states will not make you any less complicit in the destruction of others in your name. No nation today boasts of being a chemical weapon state. No nation argues that it's acceptable under extreme circumstances to use sarin nerve agent. No nation proclaims the right to unleash on its enemy plague or polio. And that is because international norms have been set. Perceptions have changed. And now, at last, we have an unequivocal norm against nuclear weapons. There is only one way to prevent the use of nuclear weapons, prohibit and eliminate them. We are campaigners from 468 organizations who are working to safeguard the future. And we are representatives of the moral majority, the billions of people who choose life over death and who together will see the end of nuclear weapons. Thank you. I speak as a member of the family of Hibakusha. Those of us who survived the atomic bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Today, I want you to feel in this hall the presence of all those who perished in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I want you to feel above and around a great cloud of a quarter million souls. Each person had a name. I was just 13 years old girl when the United States dropped the first atomic bomb on my city of Hiroshima. 
I remember that morning vividly. At 8.15, I saw a blinding bluish-white flash. As I crawled out, the rubble was on fire. Most of my classmates in the same building were burnt to death alive. I saw all around me utter unrecognizable, unimaginable devastation. Procession of ghostly figures shuffled by. Grotesquely wounded people, they were bleeding, burned, blackened, and swollen. Parts of their bodies were missing Flesh and skin hung from their bones. Some with their own eyeballs hanging in their hands. Some with their bellies burst open, their intestines hanging out. The foul stench of burnt human flesh filled the air. Thus, with one bomb, my beloved city was obliterated. Most of its residents were civilians who were incinerated vaporized, carbonized, among them members of my own family and 351 schoolmates of mine. Every second of every day, nuclear weapon endanger everyone we love and everything we hold dear. We must not tolerate this insanity any longer. Nine nations still threaten to incinerate entire cities, to destroy life on earth, to make our beautiful world uninhabitable for our future generations. These weapons are not a necessary evil. They are the ultimate evil. We Hibaksha had been waiting for the ban for 72 years. Let this be the beginning of the end of nuclear weapons. <laughs> to the officials of nuclear weapon nations and to their accomplices under the so-called nuclear umbrella, I say this, listen to our testimony, heed our warning, you are each an integral part of the system of violence that threaten humankind. To every president and prime minister of every nation of the world, I beseech you, join this treaty, forever eradicate the threat of nuclear annihilation. This is our passion, our commitment for our one precious world to survive. The whole audience gets up again after the two impressive speeches by the ICANN representatives.
the last one. The 85-year-old Setsuko Thurlow.